Hello everyone and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. Today we have tons of things to talk about. We have a studio update from Guild Wars 2. Because they have soon 10 anniversary, which means basically the game is going to be 10 years old. And of course with that we're going to see a Steam release, we're going to see a big events. There's going to be a lot of tons of cool stuff which is going to come out for Guild Wars 2 and stuff to do. So I'm actually quite excited for this and I think it's going to be a big step for the Guild Wars 2 community. I think we're going to see a lot of new people trying out the game because you can now play it through Steam. And some people out there only want to play games if you can play them through Steam. So it's going to be fun to see how many new people is going to join the game and see. Keep in mind existing players cannot play it through Steam. It's only for new players. You basically have to create a new account because that's how it is. So let's go through this update because we have tons of things to talk about. So you can put me down now, put me down in the car, you know, whenever you want. Just listen to this and we're going to go through this update. I'm going to read it up, going to give you the comments and we're going to see all the updates they have for us. So let's do it. Hello, Guild Wars 2 community. Well, it actually says only hell Guild Wars community. ArenaNet was founded over 20 years ago with a simple yet ambitious mission. Cha challenge conventions in the MMO genre and usher in a new era of online role-playing games. This mission led us to create off the world of Turia, a place we first explored together in Guild Wars Prophecies in 2005. It was different and our players knew it too. Wherever we, whoever heard of a successfully online role-playing game without a subscription fee. Well, the ID caught on and its success allowed us to double down with a sequel, Guild Wars 2. Well, does they actually say that? Its success allowed us to double down. Double down? Does that Isn't that like a bad thing? Well, okay, I, English isn't my main language, but anyway. So yeah, they got a sequel. Guild Wars 2 launched on August 28, 2012, which is the release date on Steam. Uh, well, it says it's the release date on the right side, but it's actually 23 August. Um, and since then, over 16 million players from across the globe have stepped... How many? 16 million players. Ah, huh, okay. Uh, keep in mind, this is how many people who actually create an account. So, you know, basically 99% could not be playing. Maybe 50% is playing. We don't know. But, okay, so they actually have created 24 million accounts. That's pretty cool. I think Final Fantasy wasn't about like 24 million. So, still a bit more, but that's cool. Over 16 million players from the, across the globe have stepped into Turia. Later this month, we'll reach an incredible milestone by celebrating the 10th anniversary of Guild Wars 2 launch. Together, we be, we've embarked on epic adventures, forged lifelong friendships and rivalries, created countless memories, and defeated a few dragons in the process too. 10 years is a remarkable achievement for an online game, especially when you consider that many don't make it through the first. We continue to be thankful to you, our community. We are here today because of your support and trust. We took an innovative player first approach to Guild Wars 2, challenging conventions in the same spirit as the original Guild Wars. We created an immersive world that focuses on fun rather than endless gear grind. A game that respects your time and never invalidates your hard work where you're always happy to see another player we didn't we did it without charging a subscription fee or introducing pay to win monetization let's let's not discuss that one we took risks and we continue to take them unfortunately many of the player frustration that we observed in the industry during Guild Wars 2 early development are still prevalent today. So if you don't know about this, basically the leadership, the management of Guild Wars 2 has been... It had it had some trouble years. And because of that, a lot of people just kind of like started to hate on the game. You know, they they done some bad decisions, their bad management. I don't know, you know, they, they haven't had the best years. Um, but uh, totally like new management is now in the game like not totally new but you know they got a lot of, a lot of back old, old like ogs to the game and they, they have a they have a team now in the company that is very passionate about the game that really wants this game to be the best as it can so people kind of have to stop thinking about their past and looking at the new ways of guild wars now because it it's a it's a different now like i, I would say it's a much better 
operation team, I don't know what you can say, but you know what I mean. Like it's you have to restart what you know about Guild Wars and kind of go into it now and think about it as a new, very anticipated team. Okay, let's go on. At ArenaNet, we are we are gamers just as much as we are developers. And that's why it's important to us to have to uh, to us that we continue to stand by our values and our players, even when it proves to be more difficult to path. We want to build the kind of games that we want to play. Thankfully, we know there are a lot of gamers out there that just feels like we do. We are celebrating the 10th anniversary of Guild Wars 2 by reaffirming our commitment to being different, honoring our community, and introducing the world of Turia to an entirely new group of players who are also looking for something different. Dum dum da. Steam Rises, the game that redefined MMORPGs, comes to Steam August 23. The critically acclaimed... No, I'm, I'm stopping. <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. Uh, I, I, I was like, I've been waiting for this. I honestly was very excited to like move my main account over to Steam, but since we cannot do that, it's like, no, okay. Well, whatever. It's not going to change the game for me. It's just playing through Steam. I just like to see how many hours I've been using in games, but yeah. I know you can do like a slash H and slash plate for that, but still it's, it's nice to have everything in Steam. But whatever. It's time to tell your friends to update their Steam wishlist. We are pleased to announce that Guild Wars 2 will launch in Steam on August 23 at noon Pacific time, UTC 7. This is something we wanted to do for a long time, and their 10th anniversary felt like the perfect moment to make it happen. So if you actually click on this link here, it would just show up the Steam website where you can see like here you have Steam version, the release date here, August 23, which is the 10th anniversary when the game originally released. And there is a package you can buy for Guild Wars 2, Path of Fire and Heart of Thorns expansion and End of Dragon expansion. So it's pretty cool. It's a Steam page. It's nice. But that's it. You can go in and again, this game is going to be free to play on Steam. And then of course you can buy the expansions just like the normal game that you can play for free up to level 80 and do the standard stuff. Let's get on. <clears throat> Guild Wars 2 will launch on Steam on August 20. Well, uh, it's time. Blah, blah, blah. We're pleased to announce that Guild Wars 2 will launch on Steam on August 23 at noon Pacific time. This is something we wanted to do for a long time. And the 10th anniversary felt like the perfect moment to make it happen. I think I just read that. Sorry. Steam players will also be able to experience core, the core Guild Wars 2 game for free. With the same restriction applied to the free accounts created on guildwars.2.com. With options to upgrade to Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns, Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire, and Guild Wars 2 End of Dragons. From day one. We heard your feedback that Living World Unlock should be better communicated to prospective players, so we also be creating a complete collection bundle that includes Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, End of Dragons, and Living World Season 2 through 5. Living World Season 1 is free for everyone. So, okay, so they're basically going to make a complete collection bundle where you can get like all the expansion plus all the, the living worlds. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. It's going to make it easy for people like, I want to play this game, boom. Why, 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 why can I play? Why can I pay? And I want just all the expansion. That's a nice boat, by the way, down there. Um, the complete collection won't be immediately available to players outside of Steam, but we'll be working to add it on our web store and the in-game store for players with accounts created via guildwars2.com in the near future. So basically, if you play without Steam and you play the original, you cannot buy this bundle yet, but soon they're going to enable it to everyone so everyone can buy it, even if you don't have Steam. But they're still working on it. Note, existing Guild Wars 2 accounts can't, can't, cannot, can't be linked to Steam and vice versa. Please visit our knowledge base for more info. Additionally, we'll be making it clear on our Steam page that Living World Seasons must be purchased separately from expansions. No surprises. So yeah, again, they're going to have a package where you can get everything or you can buy the, you know, the Living Worlds separately. We want to make the most we want to make the most of the Steam launch. So over the past few months, we've been working on improvements to new player experience. We've improved leveling pacing updated default options and keybinds to more sensible, added multiple tiers of new achievements that guide players up through level 80, added a free trial for the Raptor mount. Once players reach level 10, which becomes permanent unlock after purchasing an expansion, adjusted up 
adjusted level up rewards and Black Lion instant level 80 tickets. Updated early game content like World Busted with revised mechanics and tutorials, streamlined dungeons, cur dungeon currencies and increased the rewards, made it easier to get into raid content, added accessibility options, improved the player experience in story instances, revamped fractal instabilities, improved raid and strike missions reward and currencies, removed tedious mechanics like equipment repairing, fixed some long-standing content bugs, and implemented Durex 11 to improve game performance. We also released the first three episodes of Living World Season 1, which give new players a better understanding of the story as they head into the latter content. The fourth episode will drop on September 13. We are happy to report that our metrics show that these changes have made significant impact and will continue to make additional improvements in the coming months as we monitor the Steam launch. We will see a steady stream of new players coming into the game from Steam moving forward, so even changes that comes after launch will be beneficial. Overall, we are feeling pretty good about the balance we struck between investi uh, investing in the new player experience and making progress toward developing future content for our veteran players. We are incredibly excited about the upcoming Steam launch and we hope you will join us in shouting it from the rooftops. Tell your friends, family, neighbors and of course your gamer pals, this is the perfect time to join the Guild Wars to Guild Wars community. Bam bam ba. So yeah, so basically again, they want more pay people to play the game, and they're now coming out on Steam, which is a cool thing. Which is cool. I think it's a good thing. But now for people who are gonna play through this birthday anniversary event, the 10th year anniversary event, we're gonna be able to get nice stuff. For example, like this this armor here, and escape by just playing and not paying money. I wouldn't be surprised if you could do both, like both pay for money and both play, but we'll see. It wouldn't be a true celebration if we didn't show some love to the community that supported us for all these years. When you log in on August 23, you will find a new series of achievements waiting for you that will take you on a journey to experience the best of Guild Wars 2 World Bosses, Heart of Thorns, Guild Wars 2 Power of Fire, End of Dragons, Living World, World vs. World, Play vs. Player, and more. As you complete these tasks, you will earn proof of legend, which can be traded in for new decade armor set. So basically, this armor set here, as you can see here, the armor set here will be able to be earned for doing these achievements, which you can find in the game. These achievements are permanent additions to the game, so our new friends joining us from Steam will be able to make progress on these achievements as they explore Turia at their own pace. A plus 30 bonus to Karma Magic Find, PvP and World vs. World Reward Track progress will be active one week starting on August 23. So basically everyone who plays in the first week after August 23 will have plus 30 to basically everything like that's gonna help you. As is traditional, we'll also have a wide range of gem store sales to celebrate the anniversary and maybe even have a few freebies to collect. Spoiler mount skins so this actually sounds like they're gonna give us a free mount skin like everyone is gonna get a free mount skin which is pretty cool twitch drops soon you'll you'll be able to link your twitch and guild wars 2 account and earn rewards for watching any twitch channel broadcasting guild wars 2 on twitch this is kind of wrong um it feels like it's wrong i kind of feel because they're saying here um, soon you'll be able to link your Twitch account, uh, Twitch at Guild Wars 2 account and earn rewards for watching any Twitch channel broadcasting Guild Wars 2 on Twitch. But, you know, keep this in mind, because, well, actually, maybe it means that it's everyone. It will be cool, because I'm, I'm, like, streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, so don't tell Twitch they banned me then, but, you know, still. Tune into any Twitch live stream with Twitch drops enabled between August 23 and noon Pacific time, UTC 7, and August 28, blah, 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 the time. To earn transmission charges, boosters, a mini, a glowing purple mask, and your, and your choice of Guild Wars 2 character outfit. Wow. Are we gonna get it? We're gonna... Are we gonna be able to pick between all the outfits? Holy moly. Uh, it doesn't say that, but maybe it's only gonna be like five different or something like that, but still, a freaking outfit. Holy shit. Members of the Arena, members of ArenaNet partner program will be streaming a wide variety of content during the Steam release week. 
and 10th anniversary and beyond. I was actually a member of this program, um, but then Lost Ark released and I was very dedicated to Lost Ark and didn't want to do any content about any other games. So I, I, I got my, uh, my partnership post, which I regret today because I'm playing the game now and, and my partnership, I, I'm trying to get it enabled again, but um, I think they are pretty busy right now. So we'll see if it ever happens, if I ever get my partnership status back, but we'll see. And beyond, to showcase all the fa facets of Guild Wars 2, story content, raid, strike missions, fractals, player vs player, world vs world, and more. There will be something for everyone. Stay tuned for more information to participate. Okay, so... Okay, so it actually means that everyone will... So it seems like everyone will be able to activate uh, drops on their stream. That's nice, because I hate when it's only like selected people who can do that. It's like... Richer get richer, if you know what I mean. That's a term one of my friends, Blackout Gaming, he always says. Richer get richer. So, what is this? A call to arms. When Guild Wars 2 launches on Steam on August 23, we'll have a wave of new players entering Turia for the very first time. And those players will be looking for new friends and communities to call home. We hope our veteran players will, will join us in welcoming these new players into our world with open arms. We are stronger together. Apes. Stronger together. Apes together. Yeah. If you don't know what movie that's from, that's your fault. Beyond the 10th anniversary and Steam launch, there's so much on the horizon that we are excited about. Some of the big items are... Boom, boom, boom. The final two episodes of Living World Season 1 return. Plus a new strike mission and a challenge mode. Ooh, new strike mission and a challenge mode. We like that. A new location and story to experience in Kanta. World vs. World updates, including world, restructur re world restructuring and alliances. Nice. This one is definitely the one I'm most excited for because I, lo I love World vs. World. It's so fun. Not to mention that our next expansion is in early development. There's never been a better time to be a Guild Wars 2 player. Oh my god. They just dropped. They just dropped the new expansion hype. Oh my god, look at my guns, how huge they are. Like, oh my god, that's a big one. Okay, that was a joke. Never mind. Um, so, um, yeah, new expansion. Great. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's amazing. I, ca I can't wait. I wonder what it's going to be. Like, now we have, like, Turia, Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, uh, Kanta, you know, End of Dragons. What's, what's the next? Oh... Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? So basically, Guild Wars 1, um, we got the original Guild Wars 1, then we got the Guild Wars uh, Factions, then we got Guild Wars Nightfall, which uh, which I guess Nightfall is kind of like the one we have now, isn't it? Uh, and then we have Eye of the North. I wonder if that's kind of going to be the next Guild Wars 2 expansion, so we're going to like have a North theme. Could be, I mean, we already have the Norns and seen the places. We also have Ghosts of Ascalon or Age of Destiny. I can't even remember those two. But, hmm. Hmm. What could it be? What could it be, indeed? Happy anniversary, the Guild Wars 2 team. God damn it. A new expansion is uprising. Hmm. So much thinking. Okay. Well, again, this was all the updates. So basically, we're breaking it down. We have the Steam release. We have the anniversary with events so you can like get these badass outfits and we of course have the twitch drops where you can get an outfit we have the call to arms where basically they are like you know releasing new stuff and they're working on a new expansion which is really exciting so cool cool and i, I think as they, as they say right now is the perfect time to be a guild wars 2 player because there's so many things coming up it's uh wow because i was like um, the reason I didn't really play Guild Wars 2 was I was always I was always like there's not nothing there's never coming news like there's never coming news there's never coming new content out and people on Reddit was like yeah that's how the game is like just, we don't get anything new and now you can see then that's that what I say that this new team they have got now is so passionate about the game they're working so fast it's like you're gonna get so many boom 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 stuff and the moment they're gonna show the new expansion it's gonna be wild I mean I'm so excited to see what's What's gonna be? We have the normal tutorial, we have this planned place, we have this desert place, and we have now this 
Asian water place. What's the next thing? Is it going to be like an under realm? It's going to be like a heaven light place. You know, what, what was this going to be? It's going to be underground, like under the world. It's going to be another planet. Are we going to be like World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy where we're basically going to go into a spaceship and travel to another planet? What is it going to be? I don't know. Maybe you know. Let me know in the comments if you know. But thanks for watching, everyone. It was a pleasure making this video. It looks like we have a great future ahead of Guild Wars 2, and I'm so excited to play the game again. And uh, let's cross the fingers that I will be uh, accepted into the partnership again. So thanks for watching. Have a great evening, everyone, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.